So for those of you that don't know, I'm a trend trader typically. Now it's definitely not the only thing that I do, but it's something that I definitely have the time for. So I typically do trend trading, algorithmic bot trading, and I do it because I just don't always have the time. I'm typically a pretty busy guy. I don't always have the time to set aside and do some form of scalping or day trading, even though I do enjoy doing that form of trading as well. So typically when I go and I do back testing, oftentimes I'll look at different trend trading strategies and that's exactly what we're gonna do here today. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up the indicators on the screen. We'll go through some of the details and then we'll go through and we'll do some back testing over the past year on a four hour time frame. We're looking at USD JP why to see how it does and if it's worth pursuing any further okay so let's go ahead and let's dive into the indicators so we're going to keep things relatively simple starting out with this trading strategy we're using four indicators now the first one's going to be lux algo premium and this will be serving as our primary trigger indicator we are using the scalper preset everything else is going to be pretty much the same um, i did turn off the dashboard and while this is going to be totally up to your choice if you want to utilize their trade management in terms of stop loss and take profit. That's totally up to you. However, we're not going to be using it. Rather, we're going to be using the ATR for our stop loss and overall trade management. Now, when it comes to our risk management and our trade management, we're going to be looking at two times the ATR for uh, both our trades because we're going to be using two trades. We want to use a runner to see how much profit we can actually make on this four hour time frame. Now the first take profit will be set at about 67% of the stop loss or about 1.5 times the ATR on the chart. And then we're going to let the second trade run out until we get a confirmation signal on the opposite end, regardless of whether we have the trading setup ready to go. Now, the other indicators that we have in use are going to be the range identifier. This is one that if you've seen any of my other videos in the past, it's definitely a useful trend trading indicator. Um, we are using the McGinley as the MA type, and I believe we also changed the fast length to two rather than to three. As far as the MA slow length, it's at 24. The ATR period one is three. ATR period is uh, 24, and the custom threshold is not in use, but if you want to go ahead and use it, totally cool. I would keep it somewhere between uh, 0 0.05 and 0 0.1. Now the last thing is going to be the ATRP or the average uh, true range percent. Now this is going to be utilized as a bit of a relative volume indicator. Um, if you haven't seen my previous video, we went over some details about, you know, tick volume versus real volume, something that we'll probably get into a bit more. Uh, but this is using the uh, ATR relative to previous price and then seeing where it ends up. So I did make some changes to this one. As far as the long length, we're at 20, short uh, 2, the historical will be at 120, and I did make some changes to the colors. The color up will be blue, the color down will be red. Now, when it comes to the range identifier and the ATRP for our signal setups. ATRP, we're just looking for a blue column. For the range, if we're going long, we're looking for the green columns. Um, if it's gray, we're neither going long nor short. And if it's red, then we're looking to go short. And we'll just need a trigger from the Lux Algo Premium indicator. And the last indicator that you do see up on the screen here is actually just the dashboard from the price action concepts. This helps give me a better idea as far as the chalk. It's not something that you necessarily need to use, but uh, this is something that I like to be uh, using and I have been using a bit more often because it's something that I find to be pretty darn interesting. The chalk stands for change of character. So it gives me a sense of the trend direction on the 15 minute, the one hour, the four hour and the daily time frames. And now the other thing that I want to mention in regards to the trade management is that when that first take profit is hit, we're going to set that second trade stop loss to break even. And now one thing I will also say in regards to this type of trade management strategy without any sort of modifications, which of course we can do, is that oftentimes you may see you have a couple winners where the first take profit profit was hit, but the second uh, take profit ended up being uh, stopped out at that break even point. If you have a couple losers, it might take you down a little bit more than you feel comfortable, but that's where we can always have modifications. Of course, I'll leave that up to you. You can use trailing stops. You could use a different exit indicator to really make sure that you get out at a better point on the charts. But hey, let's go ahead. We're going to do some back testing to see how everything turns out, and then we'll look at our final results to see 
whether this is worth pursuing anymore or whether this is something that just dead in the water. And now taking a look at our final results, we had a win rate of about 52.27% with a PL of 20.34%, which is pretty darn good considering this was the, over the course of one year over one currency pair. We had a profit factor of 2.07 with a total of 44 trades. That was at 23 wins and 18 losses. Now, when it came to the consecutive wins, we had five consecutive wins versus eight consecutive losses, which was relatively significant, but you can consider that that was only four positions with um, an average win of 1.62%, average loss of that limited 1%. Our max drawdown was at 7.73%, which is a little bit more than I would like it to be. I usually prefer to go only no more than let's say 4%, preferably below 2%, and our risk to reward ended up being about 1.62 to 1. And now my overall thoughts on this is it's definitely something that is worth pursuing. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, we're using a relatively bland and straightforward uh, trade and risk management without any sort of additional exit indicator. For me to improve this strategy, I might rethink that as far as what I'm using for my stop losses, for my take profits, as well as maybe adding in an additional uh, exit indicator to really help maximize those gains and minimize those losses. So hey, I hope you enjoyed that video that you gained a ton of value. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. If you're curious in learning more about the Luxalgo indicators or about the Trader Edge app, make sure that you check out the affiliate links down in the description below. But hey, other than that, safe trading out there, keep doing the darn thing, and I'll see you on the next one.